Okay, so this is going to be the opening of this brand new Samsung AWX wind instrument micro transmitter wireless system. This is an airline ATX series microphone. It's a full wireless system uh, that involves a transmitter that is completely included into the the clip and right next it's right next to the microphone this makes it a complete wireless system where there is no cable that has to go from the uh, from the clip to any transmitter any belt pack or anything like that so there is no belt pack in this microphone and uh, basically what you get is uh, the microphone itself uh, with a gooseneck, a gooseneck uh, system the transmitter and the receiver which is a usual normal receiver that we usually get with these uh, wireless systems uh, Samsung claims that this is the the, the smallest transmitter uh, in the world and uh, it might just be because uh, these transmitters uh, usually are bigger and uh, do not usually exist in the form of, uh, of um, like included in, in the clip so that's actually why I bought this thing because I really didn't want to have a cable or a belt pack with me the reason is uh, I personally play trumpet and I played some I play some other instruments and usually when I'm in a song I want to pass from let's say my guitar to my trumpet without having to uh, to attach anything on me a belt pack or uh, have any uh, cable issues or anything like that so that's why I, I really needed something that has no cable whatsoever and I just can I can just pick up my trumpet and play my solo and then put it back on the stand and take my guitar back with without having to worry about any cable all right so now let's just go ahead and open the box and see what is in there I never never opened this box before I just left it unopened since I I bought the package so here it is this is exactly the way it comes in uh, so here we have owner's manual that we will take a look at later it's not very thick so I guess uh, there's not much to know about this so here is the box itself everything is well uh, plastified well protected into uh, a compartment boxing which is very nice so uh, let's uh, take the pieces out one by one this is the main uh, receiver which is a half rack mount unit we'll put it here on the table uh, then we have right here this is the clip itself with the uh, the transmitter so this is actually very small you can see how it fits in my hand it's very very small so this is the clip together with the transmitter then we have this thing here which is the microphone itself that's the mic and that's the connector and I'm holding it by the gooseneck okay, so we have a bunch of uh, of hardware here that is uh, here to uh, mount the main unit here uh, to a rack mount if necessary or you can just put it on top of your uh, guitar amplifier or on top of anything uh, it's very small actually you can see how it fits you know it's it's like six seven inches wide so it's very very small unit next what do we got next uh, this thing here oh that's an adapter okay we'll check that later uh, we got a USB cable then uh, these are all sorts of uh, adapters AC and this is the main okay so this is the main AC adapter okay with uh, 
the output to, from the instrument to the input to the wall, the sector inlet. Okay, so we got all kinds of other things here. So here is uh, just a regular guitar cable uh, jack, quarter inch jack. Okay, good to have, but not very useful for me. And here we have a little pouch uh, with a nice logo. So that's if you want to transport your uh, your mic clip and uh, transmitter here. That's nice. It's nice to have too. So this is if you want to travel with your unit. I forgot to mention these two little things here, which are going to be the antennas uh, that have to be plugged to the uh, main receiver. And this is, I don't know what, we'll see it later. All right, so now we're gonna just go ahead and remove all these little plastics from everywhere so we can really see the, the real units. Okay, so let's go on now with uh, this uh, transmitter, which is uh, actually looks very well made. Uh, here is first of all the connector for the microphone. It's a mini three pin connector. Uh, it's a mini XLR really, that's what it is. Uh, then you have the clip itself, which is very nice. It's very, it's very solid, looks very sturdy, and uh, uh, looks like it can be really well fixed to the instrument. It's also, uh, the finishing here is done in a very nice way so that it will not uh, damage your uh, instrument and it's a little rounded so that it can be take the shape of uh, the, the bell of any wind instrument. <coughs> then on this side you have uh, three buttons, actually this one and this one are uh, written minus and plus. Then you have a main button here and you have probably the infrared uh, uh, transmitter right here. On the side here you have a connector. It's actually to uh, charge the batteries because this thing works with a battery and it's a rechargeable battery. It's uh, magnetized so it it can really, you know, catch the uh, the connect the connection very easily. There you go. So it's just like these uh, iPads or uh, uh, MacBooks. Nice connector, and that is a connection directly to a USB port. So that is to charge these batteries in the unit. So the idea to put a rechargeable battery in this is a very good idea because it's always a pain in the butt to uh, go and have to put new batteries. So again this clip looks very very good to me. I have to put quite a bit of pressure here before I can open it which is good. And the weight of the unit itself is also not too heavy and not too light. Then let's go ahead and check these antennas which are just regular antennas that will be plugged in here just this way. Uh, so these are oh very good these are uh, directable so that's nice too that you can direct them in the direction you want. Then what do we have? Uh, so we have that charger cable which is a USB cable and then you have this which is the AC charger that comes with a few adapters. Uh, this is actually for European units. Uh, same thing here. And we have two adapters for uh, North American units. Let's go ahead and put one of them in uh, this adapter. 
So here's the way to do this. You put your adapter on one side first. Okay, so uh, so here is uh, uh, the main unit. Once again, once I uh, reconnected the antennas on the back side, which is uh, probably a better place to plug it. And uh, uh, once I connected the AC adapter, it is specified in the user manual that the antennas should be directed vertically and if possible in sight of the musician or whoever or wherever the the transmitter will be so th there should be eye contact between the transmitter and these antennas the player should be able to see the antennas from where he's playing uh, I want to emphasize that we have two uh, connections here, two outputs. Uh, one is for an XLR balanced output and the other one is a uh, unbalanced quarter inch jack. I uh, took uh, the other adapter with the USB with a charger to do my first charge of the transmitter. So the best thing is obviously to completely charge it before you use it for the first time. So it's very easy, you plug into the wall outlet uh, the cable, then you put the magnetic connector on the transmitter and then it should light, uh, it should have a flashing red light to indicate that it is charging. When the light stops flashing it means that it's fully charged. So this will probably go on for a couple of hours so we'll let it charge and come back when it's fully charged. Okay, so here's what it looks like once everything has been plugged in. Uh, we have connected the two antennas on the back of the unit. We have connected the uh, AC power uh, to the wall. And we have connected the uh, microphone. This cable goes straight to the mixer, okay? So now the unit is ready to receive the microphone and the microphone is ready to send the signal to the mixer. Now here's the trumpet. Here's the trumpet equipped with the microphone itself that has just been put in on top of the trumpet. As we can see it's very very sleek and uh, the little uh, clip is very well made. Let's uh, try to undo it, take it off. You can see the way it's done right here. You push and you can put it on so easily that it's almost scary. And then you can even push it a bit. So as I was saying, here's the microphone and uh, now you can see how easily it can swing to the center of the trumpet bell or get off. Now before I start playing with this let's just look at it the way it goes on the stand. It's very neat. You know it goes right like this and you can even push it in just a bit and this way you're completely free to play without a cable. Now the next section of this video will be actual playing with the video on. Uh, one thing I haven't said is uh, the way we have to uh, couple the transceiver to the, the, to the receiver. That's very simple. You just have to press on that little button and uh, they both go on. You have uh, the button here that you push for a couple of seconds and it turns on the unit when it's green it's ready to play then you can push it in it becomes yellow it's mute and then you push it it becomes normal again and then you can push it again a couple of seconds and it turns off end of the story